What is up? Good morning, friends. Greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation, the good news about health. I'm Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and often deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds. Recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the, in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system, the human body, is a healing system, a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your calls on the bright side. Let, let us help you change your life. Let us help you change the lives of loved ones today. 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you're dealing with a health challenge or you know somebody who's dealing with a health challenge, a loved one, friend, family member, workmate, dealing with some kind of health crisis, let us show you how easy it can be to begin to reverse and to access the body's built-in healing systems. 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. If you have a success story or if you want to contribute to the conversation, we want to hear from you. If we left you on hold in the past, tell our call screener and we'll get your first up at 844-236-6010. If you're interested in purchasing any of the Longevity products you hear advertised or recommend on the pro recommended on the program, you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. You can also head over to my websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. All have blog posts and news stories, which we update regularly. Thank you to Robert Lundgren and Jaunty Collier, who set those up. You can also go to benfuchsarchives.com and search for any uh, particular topics or subjects that we may have covered. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that one up. And if you're interested in purchasing any of my skin health products, go to truthtreatments.com. Make sure you take a specially long look at our retinol gel, 5% retinol gel. You're not going to find that anywhere, folks. Non-irritating, get a little bit of flaking, Hell, great way to get rid of dark spots, wrinkles, good for blemishes as well. This is an overall skin tonic. It's also made with a whole bunch of vitamin C retinol gel. you find them, uh, all the other Truth Treatment products at truthtreatments.com. Okay, talking skin, skin pigmentation, dark spots, hyperpigmentation, they call it melasma. One of the biggest complaints people have about their skin as they get older, as we've been saying, there's two types of pigment. They're confusing. Sometimes we mix them up. The type that's on the surface, that's a type that can be removed with uh, topical strategies, retinol, vitamin C, various products and ingredients. We'll be talking about those in the coming days. Exfoliating strategies, microdermabrasion. We're going to cover a lot of these subjects in the coming days. But the more serious type of pigmentation, and this is what we've been talking about for the last week or so, and that's called lipofusion, dark fat. It's cell debris, cell junk. And it's a sign that aging and cell death are really starting to build up and beginning to overwhelm the body's cleanup system, the body's recycling mechanisms, the body's drainage dynamics. All of these are largely based on what we call the lymph, the lymphatic system, which is technically really part of the circulatory system. There's no real distinction, technically anyway. They're all part of one big circulatory system. The, the fluids flow throughout the body. Part of it is called the blood. Part of it is called the lymph. And as we get sicker and as we get older and as we get more and more nutritionally deficient, the lymph portion of the circulatory system starts to accumulate. We get more lymph than blood. 
supposed to be about a one-to-one -one lymph to blood, but as, as uh, we get older, more lymphatic fluid accumulates as the body attempts to drain out all those poisons, and that means less blood, and that means less nutrition, and that means less detox, and that means just a big old mess, lymphatic congestion, lymphatic uh, lymphatic clogging, if you will. It's a big mess. It's associated with almost every single health challenge you can, you can name, including elevated cholesterol. We talked about this yesterday. There's a new pharmaceutical poison out that shuts down, again, these drug mechanisms that shut things down. We got another one now that shuts down cholesterol processing. This one is super high tech. M monoclonal antibodies, it's these, these uh, biologic mechanisms that are for literally using the body's weaponry against itself. Taking the body's technology, the body's immune system technology, which is partially, partially uh, built around something called antibodies, which are like little rockets or little missiles or bullets that shoot things, bad guys technically. Well, what scientists and drug companies have figured out how to do is take these bullets and actually target inflammatory factors, supposedly, so you won't have any more inflammation. That's the drug model for taking care of inflammation. We'll create bullets that shoot the inflammatory factors, no more inflammation. Isn't that brilliant? Of course, the inflammatory, the, the inflammatory system is a protective system, so you don't have any more protection either, but that, will, that just means you, need, you can get another drug, maybe, or you'll have more, uh, more reason to go back to the doctor or interface with the medical model. Cholesterol is important stuff, vital stuff, good stuff, your best friend, one of your best biochemical friends. And shutting down anything that has to do with cholesterol through poisoning it or mechanically or artificially or medically interfering with it is absolute stupidity, pure and simple. Yes, statin drugs, stupidity, pure and simple. Preluent, stupidity, pure and simple. That's the name of the new antibody or monoclonal antibody biologic that costs you $1,000 or $1,200 a month to be on, and you have to inject yourself on top of that with this stuff. What are we thinking? Oh, my God. Any medical professional who thinks it's a good idea to use this stuff rather than all the gentle, non-toxic, non-pharmaceutical strategies that we've been talking about here for the last couple of days needs to is doing a grave disservice to their patients. We'll leave it at that. Three points. Number one, cholesterol is important stuff, incredibly important stuff. Point number two, elevated cholesterol production is part of the wisdom of the body. It's a sign that the body thinks it needs to be building. It's not the cause of heart disease. If you got elevated blood cholesterol, it's not the cause of heart disease. Maybe associated with it because the same things that cause the elevations in cholesterol cause the heart disease, but the elevated cholesterol is not the cause of heart disease. Point number three, if cholesterol is being manufactured in excess, in more than the body needs or more than the body can handle, slowing down its production is not a medical issue. The reason cholesterol levels go up is because the body thinks it needs to be building, cholesterol being a building substance, or because the body's under stress, because cholesterol also is a precursor to stress hormones. Found a really neat article here. Uh, serum cholesterol, along with col cortisol, stress hormone, and uric acid, which is associated with gout, increases during the stresses of everyday life. This is from the journal Psychosomatic Medicine, and it's 40 years old, this article. It's from 1974, June 1974. We knew back then that cholesterol levels go up when we're under stress. Well, it's just common sense if you understand biochemistry. When was the last time your cardiologist wrote your prescription? Don't stress. No more stress. Relax. Lighten up. Never. Elevated cholesterol is a sign that the body thinks it needs to be building and a sign that it's under duress. And one of the major reasons why the body thinks it needs to be building and one of the major reasons why the body is under duress is sugar. I don't want to be beaten up on sugar every single program here, but it's hard not to. Sugar, sugar, sugar. And that means bread and pasta and flour and cereal. You want to drop your cholesterol? Stop eating the pasta. Stop eating the, the rice and the processed foods and, and the sugar and the sweets and the fruit juice. There's a reason why diabetes and elevated cholesterol go hand in hand. They're linked. Cholesterol, elevated cholesterol is a stress issue, duress issue, burden issue, and it's also an issue of sugar. And because the liver and the lymph are the main organs of excretion of cholesterol and processing and elimination of cholesterol, 
and because both of these structures are involved with the digestive system and sugar processing, that's what you want to target for elevated cholesterol, really anything, the digestive system and the blood sugar system. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. Bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll get your calls here in uh, just a moment, bottom of the hour. If you've been left on hold in the past, we do have lines open for you. Tell our call screener, and we'll get you first up. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products or join me in my mission to educate the world about how powerful and important a good nutritional supplement program can be, get your products at the wholesale price, start a longevity business, you can call the Brightside Ben phone team and they can give you the scoop. 866-735-2470 is their number. Or you can go over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com and sign up right from the website, purchase products from the website as well, and check out our blog posts and news stories too. Okay, let's see. If you're dealing with boils or you're dealing with cysts and there are things popping up all over your skin, chances are you're dealing with a lymphatic problem. If you're dealing with elevated cholesterol, likewise, chances are you're dealing with a lymphatic problem. The lymph is the body's sewage drainage system and it also helps deliver nutrients. It's part of the circulatory system. And keeping your lymph clear is a key, key, key strategy for good health. It's all about plumbing, you guys. Good health is all about plumbing, it's all about flow, it's all about ducts, it's all about movement. Eating sugar is one of the best ways to clog the lymph up. It's also one of the best ways to mess up your circulatory system. And it is the most important reason why our cholesterol goes up. Cholesterol, elevated cholesterol, is a sugar problem mostly. And because the liver and the lymph are the main organs of elimination of cholesterol, keeping your liver healthy, keeping your lymph clean are super important for lowering blood cholesterol. Way more important for heart disease way more important, way more important for heart disease or protecting yourself from heart disease than, than just forcing your body to make cholesterol. When you understand the mechanisms, it's laughable. It's a joke to poison the cholesterol system while you just keep eating away and, ch and don't change your, your intake of dietary sugars and don't worry about a nutritional supplement program. I say it's a joke, but it's not a really funny joke. It's a, a demonstration of the utter intellectual bankruptcy, stupidity with a capital S of the medical model. And I'm not talking about individual doctors, although anybody who supports the medical model, their intelligence has to be questioned as well. If somebody is really supporting this idea that we can drug ourselves back to health from the FDA. The FDA expands advice on statin risk. This is from uh, consumer health information from, from uh, the FDA's own websites. Memory loss, liver injury, muscle damage. These are all associated with statin drugs. And it's understandable because if you poison cholesterol, uh, cholesterol machinery, you can't not have side effects. My favorite side effect in toxicity from the FDA's own website about statin drugs. Increased risk of diabetes which is clearly associated with heart disease. They don't even talk here about deficiencies in coenzyme Q10, which is also very important for the heart. So taking a statin drug for your heart is one of the worst things you could do for your heart. This, you don't need to hear anything more about the idiocy of the medical model than to understand that you get prescribed a statin drug for your heart and the side effects are heart disease. That's all, I'm not even gonna say anymore because that's how, that just tells you everything you need to know. You want to lower your cholesterol, work on your digestive system. Food intolerances, intestinal, health, uh, intestinal bacteria. Bacteria process fats. Bacteria help us process cholesterol as well. Working on your pancreas by, using, by um, using the sweeties, chromium, vanadium, the B vitamins, eating less sugar. Do you know chewing your food is one of the, chewing your food well and contacting, having the food contact the enzymes in your saliva is one of the best things you could do for your pancreas, which is super super important for digestive health. And of course, moving your lymphatic system. These are all things we can do ourselves. These are all things that we can do ourselves to get healthier, to get better, to get stronger, to live longer, to reduce our risks of horrible diseases. No middleman required. No medicine man required. Medicine means middleman. A medicine man is a middleman. Just like the priests of old who were the middlemen 
between us and God and us and the divine force. Now we have middlemen called doctors, called medicine men, who are interfacing between us and the divine healing power. That is our birthright. That is ours. No middleman required. Fire your MD, as my friend Dr. Glidden says. So cholesterol is drained out of the body via the lymph. Lymphatic congestion is a serious problem. It's a part and parcel of our toxic 21st century way of life. And by the way, statin drugs will further congest the lymph as the body has to clear out the statin drugs. If you really want to lower your cholesterol levels, reduce your sugar, reduce your flour, reduce your intake of anything that spikes your blood sugar and your insulin over time, you'll notice your cholesterol levels will drop, your weight will drop, your blood pressure will drop, you'll feel better. From a nutritional standpoint, use your sweeties. The B vitamins are your sugar processing and cholesterol busting vitamins. Beyond Tangy Tangerine rocks. And I'm not talking just about feeling better because people feel better when they're on the BTT. But I'm talking about metabolic markers, chemistry markers. They all improve. So yeah, you'll feel better when you're on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, but what you're not going to notice, except over time, you'll notice that your blood sugar is dropping and you're losing weight and your appetite is improving and you just feel better over time in addition to feeling better when you drink the stuff. Also, by the way, timed release niacin is an awesome way to lower your cholesterol. You can get that on the internet or from a pharmacy. Get a rebounder. Move your body. Food enters into uh, into the lymph at the digestive system level, so practicing caloric restriction and fasting can help clear the lymph. You don't need any fast, fancy detox formulas. Fasting is one of the best ways to detox. Do a swear of V-cleanse. Get on, get on the Longevity website or go to criticalhealthnews.com or brightsideben.com. Order the Swero V. You can do the Swear V Gold. There's three different types. I like the Swear V Gold, but just order the Swear V. Do half a bottle of the stuff every hour and fast for 12 to 24 hours. It's one of the best detoxes you'll ever do. The Swear V Cleanse. Thank you, Jordan Rubin, for putting that one together. Fermented foods, probiotics, digestive enzymes, the Fucoid Z. These are all wonderful ways to protect your gut, to lower your cholesterol by clearing the lymph. Of course, eliminating problem foods and using your fatty nutrients. The lymph largely is involved with fatty substances, so vitamins D, E, A, and K, and essential fatty acids. These are all wonderful things that we can do on our own. Massage, deep breathing. Deep breathing is amazing for helping clear the lymph. Yoga, meditation, and just general lightening up. Anger and jealousy and rage and hate and mental stress, uh, mental, mental and emotional kinds of issues, those will clog the lymph too. Those will slow down the digestive system. Those will increase the amount of toxicity that enters into the blood and into the lymph. So lightening up, relaxing. We're not here for a very long time, you guys. There's nothing that's all that serious unless it's physical pain. Physical pain is about the only thing, I'm talking about real physical pain. And, and it's hard to be spiritual and it's hard to be emotionally and mentally savvy and sophisticated when your body hurts, when it's in severe pain. So, but aside from pure physical pain, there isn't a lot that we have to worry about, you guys. Everything is going to pass. And we're not here for a very long time. So lighten up, lighten up, relax. Enjoy your life. We're not here for a long time. Enjoy it. Anyway, all of this is to say there are so many things we can do ourselves to stay healthy and to reduce lipofusion accumulation. Keep our lymph clean. Move our lymphatic fluids around. You're starting to notice these brown spots on your arms. You don't need a doctor. There's nothing a doctor can do. There's no drugs that can do anything. Work on the lymph, clear the body up, and use nutritional supplements. There's wonderful anti-lipofusion anti supplements. One of my all-time favorite supplements, all time, for the skin, for the immune system, for fighting wrinkles, for the bone, for building muscle, for sex, for brain health, and for lowering lipofusion is the mineral zinc, and almost everybody who's not supplementing is gonna be deficient in this one. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We're coming back with you and your phone calls right after this break. Don't go away. All right, we are back on the bright side. Pharmacist Ben here. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 at brightsideben.com on our archive page, also benfuchsarchives.com. If you miss a program, they're all up there for plus years of programs at brightsideben.com. Uh, also, uh, benfuchsarchives.com. And if you're interested in purchasing any of my truth treatment products, please go to truthtreatments.com. Take a specially long look at our retinol gel for hyperpigmentation, acne, blemishes, anti-wrinkle, 
Anti-sugaring, you know, there's a chemical reaction between sugar and parts of the skin called glycation. It's one of the ways wrinkles start. And it turns out that retinol is anti-glycation too. There are so many incredible benefits for vitamin A, retinol, vitamin A slash retinol. Anyway, you can find out all about my retinol, uh, retinol gel which is, by the way, the equivalent, the retinol or retinoic acid equivalent of a 0.05% retin-A with no preservatives. I don't, have, I don't like using preservatives, never did like using preservatives. True treatment products are preservative-free, great for sensitive skin, skin types. You can find all about it. Find out all about it at truthtreatments.com. And also, I want to encourage you to check out my Facebook page, The Truth With Ben. If you've tried to friend me on my personal Facebook page, that's all filled up now. Uh, but you can go to Truth Treatment, or I'm sorry, the Truth with Ben Facebook page, the Truth with Ben. I post on there regularly skincare tips, skincare recipes, just my general thoughts about skincare, which I've been in the skincare business now since 1983, and I venture to say I know quite a bit about about skincare and skincare products. Anyway, Truth, uh, the Truth with Ben is my Facebook page, TruthTreatments.com, is. Uh, is uh, my website if you want to purchase any truth treatment products. Speaking of the skin, one of the greatest, all-time, most incredible nutrients for the skin is zinc. And zinc deficiency is very common. Zinc is just unbelievably multifunctional, super duper important. Considering deficiencies are common, there's a good chance that you're going to feel better once you start supplementing with 50 milligrams, 50 milligrams of zinc picolinate. It's important for sexual performance. It's important for uh, the pancreas. It's important for sugar metabolism. It's important for muscle building. It's important for the immune system. You can suck on zinc lozenges for sore throats. One of the best remedies for sore throats is sucking on zinc lozenges because zinc is very important for the healing process. You know, zinc is actually stored in the skin. When you get a burn or you get a cut or a scrape, zinc is mobilized from the skin. It's mobilized to that cut or that burn or that abrasion to help accelerate the healing and the production of collagen. Anything that's going to be good for the production of collagen or improve healing is going to have wonderful broad ranging, a broad range of anti-aging benefits. We'll talk a lot about zinc tomorrow, and we'll talk about how it relates to the lymph, and then we'll talk about a couple other nu nutritional strategies for reducing lipofusion. And then we're going to talk about melanin, pigment, hyperpigmentation as we continue talking skin stuff. On the bright side, I'm pharmacist Ben. Eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. Cindy, in Virginia, what's up? Welcome to the bright side. Good morning, Ben. Um, I wondered uh, what you might suggest I could take for a really bad diabetic neuropathy. Diabetic neuropathy. I'll tell you what you can take, and I'll tell you what you shouldn't take. You probably know, of course. No sugar. Zero tolerance. And that means bread and pasta and all the foods that I'm sure you know. I'm not going to beat you up on this one, Cindy. You know what to do. Yeah. <laughs> stay away from all those foods. It, really, you know, it's, it's easy for me to sit here and say stay away from, from those foods. But when you're hooked on sugar, you can't just stay away from it. It's like heroin or like cocaine. Rats that are given sugar will push a button until they die just to get a hit of sugar. Monkeys and animals, they all love sugar because they're hardwired to have sugar because we need sugar. Problem is we got too much of this stuff. It's, it's not easy to wean yourself off of sugar. But by eating more protein, eating more protein is one of the greatest strategies, one of the best strategies for helping your body, for helping, number one, helping reduce sugar cravings, but number two, for protecting yourself from the toxicity of sugar. Protein is burnt much more slowly. It's not as, it doesn't create as much acid. It doesn't create as much uh, toxic byproducts as sugar burning does. So eating more protein is one of the best strategies for helping you wean off of sugar. Same with eating more coconut oil or good fat. Between coconut oil and good fat, between coconut oil, good fat, and more protein, it's a real help you, a real easy way or, or one of the best ways to wean yourself off of sugar. There's an amino acid called glutamine, which is like medicine for weaning yourself off of sugar. Get some glutamine powder. And then for the diabetic neuropathy specifically, the B vitamins are your main anti-neuropathy weapons. High doses of the B vitamins. This is one of the reasons I love the Beyond Tangy Tangerine so much. It's high doses of the B vitamins, all the B vitamins. EFAs, your ultimate EFAs are also important for diabetic neuropathy. Minerals like zinc, which we'll talk about tomorrow, very important for protecting yourself from diabetic neuropathy. Anything you can do to help your body process sugar, 
anything you could do to help your body or wean yourself off of sugar, well, sugar intake is going to help with diabetic neuropathy. Last but most certainly not least, improving circulation. Get on a rebounder, do some kind of exercise, anything you do to improve your lymph and blood circulation or lymph slash blood circulation will help with diabetic neuropathy. And then one more thing, practice deep breathing, slow deep breathing. Tissue that is doesn't have oxygen, nerve tissue, nerve cells that don't have oxygen become much more sensitive they're much more sensitized to inflammation. They're much more sensitized to pain. So slow, deep breathing. Pretty much all the things we talk about on this program in terms of our triangle of disease. Work on foods. Work on blood sugar. Use nutritional supplements. Make sure you're practicing your deep breathing. And, uh, and lighten up. Relaxation techniques. Hot tubs, baths. Uh, uh, hot showers, massage, Reiki, yoga, me meditation, all these are ways that you can access the parasympathetic relaxation nervous system, and all those can help with your diabetic neuropathy too. So many things you can do here. Get on the, uh, I know you're probably already on the Healthy Start Pack. Up your BTT, make sure you're doing your sweeties as well. Thanks for your call, Cindy. Appreciate it, and I hope we helped you out. Uh, RC in California, what's up? Welcome to the bright side. Hi, Ben. I, hey. Sunday, I woke up my right thumb was swollen yes i don't know what i did i it's mystifying there's a there was a little cut on the tip but it, it's healed now and it's what it's, did you say it's healed it's healed i mean you know it's it's healing it the, the skin's growing on I me mean, all the healing process is going on but it started out on my outside side of my thumb and then it traversed to the inside pad, I guess, you know, like if you turn your key, oh, it, it's painful, but now it's traversed down to the first joint, the pain, and my tip of my thumb, the, you know, the, the pad, I guess you'd call it, is, is yeah. discolored. It's not, oh, that's not good. You know, that's not good. Are, are you, do you have diabetes or blood sugar problems, RC? I don't remember. Uh, nothing. No, no diabetes. Nothing? Nothing. I, as I recall, you're a big, tall, strapping guy, right? Yeah, I'm pretty healthy. I, that's what I'm mystified as to what could have caused it. We went to a Chinese restaurant Saturday, but I've what? eaten things I've eaten before, so I don't know what Well, you, here's the thing. You know, that's actually kind of a very good question. When you have a, when you have a symptom and you can't, like you say, it's mysterious, it's, it just pops up, you can't, if you really want to address it, you can't address it at the symptom level. You got to look for other things that are going on in your body. Once that, once you see the thumb, the inflammation or the, the wound or the, you feel the pain in the thumb, it's over. That's called the resolution phase. That's how the body has corrected the problem or it's how it's attempting to correct the problem. We may not like the pain, but the pain is a manifestation of the healing, uh, the healing response. It involves inflammation. It involves the movement of fluids to sequester or quarantine an area that the body finds problematic until that area can be healed. It sort of barricades that area away. But that inflammation can cause some pain and some distress. So we don't want to necessarily work at that level. We want to work at the level of the cause. And the only way to find out that cause is to find other symptoms. So hang tight, RC. I'll work with this through. I'll work, uh, work through this with you and all our listeners as well. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. All right, we're back on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us today. 844-236-6010 is our number. We do have a couple lines open for you. If you're interested in purchasing any of the Longevity products you're advertised on the program or recommended, head over to brightsideben.com or criticalhealthnews.com or pharmacistben.com. You can go order products right off the website, or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. And if you want to purchase any truth treatment skin health products, including my 5% retinol gel with 25% vitamin C, that's right. You're not going to find any retinol products with 5% retinol, and you're not going to find any with 25% premium vitamin C. No preservatives, no fragrance, no emulsifiers. Last you six months if you use as directed, or more if you use as directed. Of course, you can put retinol on your feet, on the, your heels, on your any rough, dry skin. It's just an amazing, amazing, amazing topical nutrient. We spent a lot of time talking about retinol. If you're interested in purchasing our 5% retinol gel or any Truth Treatment products, head over to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, RC, California, are you there, man? RC? Yes. 
Okay. I'm here. Uh, so you got you got some thumb pain going on. You're not going to be able to address the thumb directly once that happens. Once you have the pain and the inflammation, that's a you're witnessing the body's attempt to to handle the problem. What you want to do is help the body handle the problem. And there's lots of ways you can do that. The first thing you want to do is look for other symptoms. The first thing, I'm sure you know, uh, the first symptoms to look for are digestive symptoms. This is how inflammation usually occurs. Something gets into the circulation through the digestive system. Nothing is getting into the circulatory system unless you eat first. You eat it first. Now, that, there are exceptions if you're an IV drug user or you've been vaccinated. You're, you're breaching the skin and getting right into the blood. Uh, sometimes, uh, theoretically anyway, you could breathe things in. But for the most part, something gets in to your blood to cause a problem, you're eating it. So look to foods, problem foods, eliminate those foods. If you can't find them, do a fast for a couple of days, start eating again. And this is for everybody listening, not just for RC. Everybody listening with a mysterious symptom. If you stop eating for a couple of days and start eating again, you're going to notice things that you didn't notice before. Also, patching up the gut with the Fucoid Z and the Biolumin Nightly Essence are probably advisable. If you want to put something directly on your thumb, RC, try the, try the CM cream, uh, also the CM capsules. And we don't talk a lot about the CM cream and CM capsules, but a lot of people get some really, really quick and very effective relief for inflammatory pain by applying the CM Cetal Myristoliate CM. Stand, uh, CM stands for Cetal Myristoliate Cream. It's a fatty acid cream or the CM capsules, and that might help you too. And a couple other miscellaneous nutritional supplements that you might want to try that have anti-inflammatory benefits. Of course, vitamin C, one of the most powerful anti-inflammatory of all nutrients. Vitamin E, one of the most powerful uh, fatty anti-inflammatory nutrients, 400 international units of vitamin E. We're going to talk about vitamin E tomorrow and the next day as it regards lipofusion. And then vitamin C, maybe 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams a day. You'll get that in your Beyond Tangy Tangerine. And then alpha lipoic acid, a very underappreciated anti-inflammatory nutrient, about 400 or so milligrams of that a day. Thanks so much for your call, RC. I hope we helped you out. Okay, Shirley in California, what is up? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hi, good morning, Ben. Um, this is Shirley, and um, I'm calling regarding white spots on the skin. I know there's a name for them. Are you talking about That's vitiligo? Fine. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, is it you know, just large right. white spots white or spots. little specks? Are they little specks or are they um, larger? Okay, mine are small. I'm talking about two people. My daughter is 38, and she has large ones on her, blotching on her shoulders and upper arms. Mine are on my neck, on my um, calf, only on my calf. Like and daughter, like small. like mama, like daughter. Yeah, so, this uh, just started, and she's quite upset, you know, being younger yeah. and they're, and they're blotchy. They're well, large to mine. Well, here's the deal. It is troubling. Uh, and, uh, and it's cosmetically, you know, an issue. People don't like to have white spots. And she's lucky she has them on her shoulder. People get them on their face. People get them on, in more obvious spots. You're lucky you have them on your calf. You can have them in much more obvious spots. It's called vitiligo is the technical name. V-I-T-I-L-I-G-O, vitiligo. And it is very mysterious and very difficult to handle. They're, if you go to the dermatologist, which is what most people do, they don't know what the heck to do with vitiligo. And the reason they don't know what the heck to do with vitiligo is because it's not a skin problem. If I learned anything in 30 plus years of being in the skincare business, it's that skin problems are not skin problems. Does that make sense, Shirley? I know that sounds kind of silly, but it's, they show up on the skin, but they don't start on the skin. That's the end. When something's on the skin, we call that the resolution. That's the way the body has resolved the issue. Vitiligo is an autoimmune issue, an autoimmune illness, an autoimmune disease. What does that mean? It means the immune system is now, instead of attacking the enemy, it's attacking us. It's turning its very impressive and very vast weaponry, which we talked about earlier, as uh, antibodies, missiles, bullets. And instead of shooting the enemy, which is usually food, it's shooting us. In the case of uh, vitiligo, it's shooting the cells that are called melanocytes, which make pigment. It's shooting your pigment cells. That means no pigment. Your pigment cells are being murdered. Your pigment cells are being killed by the defensive system. Friendly fire, if you will. The question then is why? Why is this occurring? And it's not just for Shirley in California or her daughter with white spots on her skin that, I, that I'm talking to. I'm talking to anybody who's dealing with rheumatoid arthritis. I'm talking with people dealing with multiple sclerosis or myasthenia gravis or any of the 50 million Americans who are dealing with one of the 100 or more autoimmune diseases. They're all caused by the body, by the same thing. Something is getting into the body that shouldn't be, period. So Shirley, my dear, What's your daughter's name, by the way? Her name is Talitha. Talitha? 
Mm -hmm. Talitha, that's very pretty. So Shirley and Talitha, I'm going to guarantee you something. I'm not psychic, Ben. I'm pharmacist, Ben. But I'm going to guarantee you something. You got some kind of digestive health issue. Not a psychic. It's just how the body works. Something is well, getting in. Hang on. Let me finish real quick, and I'll let you say that. I'll let you talk. Something is getting into the blood that shouldn't. Over the course of time, the immune system starts to cross-react with organs and systems in the body. And the, in your case, the organ and the system, I should say, in the body is the pigment system. It's the cells. Do a fast. Stop eating for a couple of days. Start eating again and watch what, and notice how you feel after certain foods, particularly your favorite foods. Now, what were you going to say, Shirley? Well, oh, of course, I've been through it. I mean, I'm very healthy. I've been using... Uh, no, You're I not very high. Listen, Shirley, stop right there. I'm going to make you stop right there because I hear this all the time. I'm not saying this to you because I'm mean or I don't like you or I want to insult you. But you can't say you're very healthy if you're if you got white spots on your skin. And I'm only picking on you. I'm only picking on you a little bit because I get letters all the time where people will run down a whole list of their symptoms and then say I'm very healthy. It happens all the time. We we have to recognize that these. And it's not that you're bad. It's not you're a bad person. I'm not judging you. I'm just telling you if you think you're healthy but you got white spots on your skin, then you're helpless. I'm healthy, but I got white spot. There's nothing you could do. But if you say, oh, well, you know what? I do have constipation occasionally. I, you know what? Every, every once in a while, I'll eat something and I'll feel uncomfortable. Or I got runny stools or, or I bloat or I have heartburn or something. Now we have places to work. We need to find places to work. And if we say we're healthy, we're not going to find them. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Shirley. What were you saying? ask if this could be a genetic component. No, no, no. Are you trying to, are you, are you a plant a trying to make me okay. mad here? <laughs> right on my knee, on my knee I had them on my, as a child, and I ignored it. And they were just like little, little blotches on my left knee only. And then they went away as I, you know, had children and all. And now they've reoccurred as I'm older. And, and, th and it's a genetic daughter. problem. What does that even mean, it's a genetic problem? Are you saying you were born with it? I'm thinking I, I had it with, I was like maybe I don't know, nine or ten, as I recall. I was quite young. So you think it was a genetic problem. And what does that mean, Shirley, to you, just so I know? You mean like you were born with it? Is that what you're trying to say? Well, perhaps a tendency towards it. I don't A tendency towards it. Okay. I'm just trying to understand what you mean by that. No, it doesn't even make any sense from a chemistry or biological standpoint. The genes listen to the environment. They're responsive to the environment. I'm going to run out of time, so let me just tell you a couple things. For vitiligo, everybody out there dealing with autoimmune issues, particularly vitiligo for Shirley and her daughter, Talitha, love that name. Uh, number one, f do a food diary. I, if it was me, I would be fasting for a couple of days. If you can't do that, at least write down everything you eat and how you respond. I guarantee you, you're going to find issues there. Number two, try to find other symptoms so we can form a picture of what's happening in the body. Menstrual cycle symptoms are really good. Uh, digestive symptoms, obviously. Problems with fatigue or problems with brain fog, those can help. If you have cold sores or herpes, those are all information for you. The next thing you want to do is start to work on the blood sugar system, and you you know you know the drill. Work on the blood sugar system. Make sure you're doing your chromium and vanadium and your sweeties if you have any. And your chances are pretty good that you, there's a relationship to a dysglycemia, messed up blood sugar. Start working on the whole blood sugar thing by eliminating uh, foods that spike your blood sugar. Make sure you're re using all the relaxing techniques we talk about. Just talked about a few minutes ago: massage and hot tubs and reiki and yoga and meditation. Get yourself on the mighty 90 essential nutrients. There happens to be a particularly important connection between the B vitamins and autoimmune disease because the B vitamins fuel the immune system. So make sure you're sipping on Beyond Tangy Tangerine. You might also want to try some B12 shots. Most folks are deficient in vitamin B12. There's so many things you could do, but here's the most important thing, Shirley. If you have vitiligo or an autoimmune disease, you are running higher risk for every horrible thing that can happen to a human being, including cancer, heart disease, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So it's very important you get to the bottom of this. Thanks for listening, friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll continue talking skin health tomorrow. On the bright side, have yourselves a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.